Let's go to Rio. Uh, some of our athletes had a magic old night. Lisa Carrington winning gold in the K1 200. 49ers Blair Chuk and Peter Burling also securing gold. More on that in a sec. Speaking after her win, Lisa Carrington set her attention now turned to her next race and quest for back-to-back -back golds. The K1 500 heats begin overnight tonight. I think I'm really absorbed in this moment right now, but yeah, preparation leading into the game, so you're feeling pretty good. We'll just um, have to wait and see what happens. Do you get to do anything to celebrate tonight at all? Uh, I think it's just embracing right now. Um, tonight, obviously, you've got to have a really good night's sleep. Um, hopefully get all the excitement out before I get to go to bed, so yeah. Lisa Carrington, who defended the gold she won at the last Olympics and is competing for another gold starting tonight. What a remarkable competitor. Meanwhile, Blair Chuk and Peter Burling finished fifth and fourth in today's two races to, men to cement themselves top spot and seal the Olympic title, but they'll have to wait until Friday for the medal ceremony. Uh, Blair Chuk told media after the race what it was like crossing the line knowing they'd clinch gold with a race to spare. Yeah, amazing feeling, pretty hard to describe and uh, you put so much into one, into one goal and then to realise that and you know, obviously like Pete said it's going to sink in a little bit more over the next couple of days and then once we get the gold medals running next I'm sure it's going to be even more of you know, that proud moment but uh, yeah, right now just five minutes ago we sort of met up with our family and friends that are here, that big support crew Pete talked about and uh, yeah, pretty special moment. Through the week you've obviously been going really well, did you ever sort of let yourself think? to this moment? Yeah, well obviously, you know, we've said all along we came here to, to try and win a gold for New Zealand and to do New Zealand proud and uh, we're absolutely uh, yeah, over, the, over the moon with what we've been able to do this week And uh, but we've just been trying to concentrate on the little things, doing all the little things well and just the process and not getting too far ahead of ourselves but uh, definitely uh, sailing the last lap of that last race we kind of knew we'd done enough and now uh, we're kind of chucking away to ourselves and, and really enjoying that so that was a pretty special moment. How surprised were you by the complete domination? Uh, you know, some of our performances over the last few years have been, uh, you know, in this sort of manner. But uh, we'd sort of always prepared that, it, as if we'd be having to sail the medal race, it'll be a tight battle. Uh, Rio's a tricky place to sail, and you know, this week we we're probably greeted with more steady, quite a bit more wind than usual. So, uh, you know, it played in our hands, and we managed to sort of get into, you know, quite a few low-figure scores, and the other guys um, didn't manage to get that sort of consistency. So. Um, yeah, I guess we're, we're definitely preparing to race till the end, but uh, to wrap it up like this is pretty pretty cool. How does this rank for you guys as well, Olympic gold? <laughs> oh, it's definitely the peak, you know. Um, it's what we've been working for for the last eight years, you know, to kind of come away from with the silver after London and, you know, to decide to try and put it all on the line and, and go come here and, and get a gold and to have that secured now is, you know, just, just sinking in. You can hardly keep the smiles off your faces there. Yeah, I mean, to be in this position is pretty unreal and uh, Sam was pretty cool today as well for another Kiwi to win a bronze medal. Uh, you know, we're a really tight-knit crew, the sailing guys, and uh, he did an absolutely amazing job. So we're really stoked for him and, uh, you know, we'll be definitely we'll be back to Team House tonight and supporting the other guys because there's a couple of big, big races to go. So we'll be um, riding behind our, the girls. What's next? <laughs> I think we're just going to enjoy this moment for a little while and yeah, like Blair said, you know, try and support the, the rest of the Kiwis. Obviously Sam had an amazing race today, but you know, both both the girls' crews have, have got a great opportunity uh, you know, tomorrow and the day after. So uh, we're just going to do everything we can to help them out and then uh, you know, celebrate with them afterwards. Blair Chuk and Peter Burling, who have secured gold with a race still to go. As Blair and Peter mentioned, they weren't the only ones to win medals on the water today. First-time Olympian sailor Sam Meach won a bronze in the, labor, in the laser class, and he told our sports editor Stephen Hewson he was pretty proud of himself and hopeful that his sister, one of the women that the boys were just talking about, Molly, might add to the medal tally later in the week. Yeah, I'm over the moon about it. <laughs> How, how did it go with that extra day in between, or that all pulled off yesterday? Oh, it was hard. Um, I think both Mark, my coach, and I were pretty nervous, and uh, yeah, having the extra day to think about it well, wasn't great, but I mean, we're used to it. It's... So what was going through your mind, I suppose, trying to get some sleep last night? Yeah, just trying to stay relaxed, 
and um, and then yeah, do it all again, go through the process uh, that we did yesterday, and we're coming to this. And the approach today in that that last race, you, it looked like you might have edged up to, to second there for for a moment, and the the Australian snuck through the, the middle of the fleet. Yeah, the thought did cross my mind. <laughs> um, I knew he was, I know he's a good sailor, you know, I, I knew he'd come back, if we, even though he started badly. So, um, yeah, I was hoping, but I couldn't really control what he did. How have you found the, the regatta? Because the, the conditions have been, well, all over the place, haven't they? Yeah, well, I, I had a bad day when it was really windy in the middle, uh, which was hard. But, yeah, the rest of the regatta I've really enjoyed, and a range of conditions has been fantastic. Do you think you've caught a few people by, by surprise? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Obviously, um, lots of people were expecting Robert to win a medal, uh, and I imagine there was a lot of pressure on him for that. Um, being Brazilian and such a legend. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I imagine I have caught a few people. And just, I suppose, your general thoughts when you when you crossed the, the line today. Relief, exhilaration, what, what was it? Uh, I was really excited, um, though I was, yeah, a little bit relieved because Robert was putting a bit of pressure on me <laughs> on that second upwind. And now you've got an Olympic medal. Molly's got the uh, the World Championship title. What, what, what are you, uh, does that give you an edge? Uh, hopefully, though, she may get me back in a few days, fingers crossed. That's right, so you've got, I mean, how, how would that be? A couple of uh, Olympic medals in the family? Oh, it'd be absolutely amazing, yeah. Um, obviously, you don't want to count any chickens too early, but I think they'll, they should be good. Bronze medal winning sailor Sam Meach uh, speaking to our sports editor Stephen Hewson. His sister Molly, what a remarkable family, will race in the women's 49ers with Alex Maloney at 5 on Friday morning.